Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with more Thrones of Britannia and yes, it's been a little while and uh, I've missed it just as much as you guys have as an artillery piece is just destroyed behind these front lines. But yeah, we are tr uh, checking out the Radius mod again, as you can see we have Jorvik here with their banner showing off which is a faction added by Radius and this is just a, this is a quick battle that me and uh, uh, Dodgy, uh, Dodgy Gob did. Um, the other day, and uh, yeah, I just thought it was a really, really fun siege to like play, and I thought you guys would enjoy checking it out. Plus, it adds a little bit more Thrones action for you guys, which we've not had in a little while. Um, so I am playing as Jorvik, and Dodgy is playing as uh, Desmond, I believe this is, um, and he's firing his artillery, and he is focusing down my artillery, and he's getting a lot of good hits. He's already taken out uh, three of my four artillery pieces. I have taken out. Uh, two of his, and I think he's about to take out the final one here. Uh, yep, there you go. Oh, all my artillery gone, it, just like that, in uh, literally no time at all. It's all gone. I slightly have the balance power in my favor. I have a thousand extra men, um, but Dodge does have this glorious shield wall that is being formed up here, made by some uh, veteran spearmen, I believe. Yes, and then he's got some uh, trained archers in behind. Interesting to see what's going on. He also has a cavalry force over here, which we need to be aware of, which I was not. I was uh, not able to see this. At the time, this is made of Gaelic chosen cavalry, so some pretty nice cavalry. So we'll see what we can do with that, but I do have some nice units myself. I have great axes. I have veteran sword hearse, elite hearse swords. They're probably my most elite unit on the battlefield, as they say in their name. Um, but yeah, we will see as the uh, forces come onto the wall what is about to happen. But I mean, I think he's trying to focus on my uh, infantry now. Which I'm trying to make sure constantly is moving. Oh, that time I did not. But if you see artillery coming in, always try and get, give your units like an order to move them like that. For instance, I would have hit the same unit again. Biden kept, kept moving it. And that one has hit, look, unluckily for us. Um, but that one's gone short. So if you keep your units moving, there's likely... You, uh, a more likely chance that you won't be hit with artillery. Like if they, you know that they're going to focus on a certain area with your, uh, with their artillery, like your elite units, for instance, or your, um, or maybe cavalry or something like that. Like that, just keep it moving, and you can avoid uh, it being hit, or, well, you can lessen the damage. Put it like that. You might still get a few hits, but maybe not as bad as it could have been. You can see here we've got, um, I think these are sword hearse here coming onto the wall. Yeah, veteran sword hearse here coming onto the wall, and they will claim the walls. For Jorvik, for York, the glorious place in the north. If you know, if you didn't know, that is where I am from. So uh, I always enjoy seeing Jorvik on the battlefield. And you can hear the artillery is going off. It's going mad again. It, what's it trying to fire it now? Ah, uh, see again, it's trying to fire itself on hit. I mean, that's a really good hit there. It got um, maybe not as many kills as it could have got, but I mean, certainly did okay. I wonder if fire artillery might be a little bit better. Might do a bit more chaos. But you can see, I've got a lot of my troops by the wall here. That one actually. Did hit the unit, but didn't do any damage. Again, that one as well. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of my units by the wall of the uh, of the uh, sissy, just to try and stop them from shooting. And here we go, the first clash of uh, it, the infantry, and it's going to be against this shield wall here. And uh, this veteran sword hearse here will have to do their best. As, uh, well, I mean, it's a solid line. It's a solid line. It'll be hard to break through. You need sort of like axe units. Oh, that poor man there just gutted. And then we... It's going to be an entire, like, huge fight across this entire front. We've got a flanking force over here. What is this made up of? Kern veterans. Against, uh, I think, more of my sword, sword hearse here. I did bring a lot of uh, various sword hearse here to the battlefield. I do like they've got, like, square shields. That's very, very cool. And we're fighting it out in this, uh, in this area around here. And uh, the plan is, I think, to try and outflank some of these forces. So I'm, you can see here, I'm gathering up more like axe herdmen, uh, just to get ready to go around. I mean, he's setting up more Kern veterans. Yori's not quite happy with how this is going. Uh, I mean, we're actually losing decisively. I think it's because most of my units not actually got onto the wall. I think they're still like joining the fight, coming off there. But as you can see here, I'm losing this, uh, on most of this front here. Combat even there, luckily. But how are we doing elsewhere? Actually, maybe it's just that. Oh no, the two flanks I'm actually losing. The center of this fight, I'm actually fighting quite well. And we've got another fight over here. I presume this is more Kern veterans. Yep. Um, and we're doing okay here. This is a shield biter. So actually, yeah, these guys should be able to do just fine. 
And uh, the cavalry has mobilized. Oh, the cavalry has indeed mobilized. Oh my gosh, the cavalry has mobilized. And it's taken out my archers. Taking out my armored archers. I do <laughs> thought we'd catch that charge. But uh, no, and he's actually, they're trying to go for more archers here. And I'm desperately trying to get my general and great axes inside now. Because uh, I could do with not having my general being killed. I didn't really need my archers. I kind of brought them because I thought, well, let's match the enemy's archers. Jorvik's not got the greatest of archers. Um, and, well, they're quite happy that they die. I kept my great axes here. I should have really taken this chance to get my general back. But here we go. The cavalry's come in. And uh, it wasn't a great charge, I won't lie. I mean, you knocked over a lot of great axes, but you thought that these guys now with their big axes are going to do a lot of damage. We will see. But yeah, you can see like other units, like the veteran sword hearse here down here. They're like, going to try and go up the walls, and now they can't. Uh, we've got Viking heavy marauders here, trying to do the same. They're being charged. There's only a small amount of them down here. But you can see I am now trying to flank around here, so I'm going to slow it down a bit because there's a lot going on. And uh, yeah, you can see here again trying to surround these guys. I clearly was looking elsewhere. The micro uh, was getting quite intense at this point. And uh, yes, I'm clearly just ready around the back. And you just need to attack. Give the order. Give the order, chief. And we will go in. We will kill them all. I mean, we are actually getting kind of surrounded here. These shield biters are losing. Um, but they'll fight to the death. They're like a slightly larger berserker unit, in my opinion. They just kind of they fight as hard as berserkers. They do look awesome with their helmets. And there you go. The order has been given. They're moving off uh, to where I have no idea. But you can see I'm mounting loads of troops on the wall. Just to then go around because there's dodgy gobs giving up this choke point. He's like in this choke point here with his Kern veterans. He could have held the choke point for ages and uh, done a lot long, done a lot better than uh, he has like necessarily charging out here because these units are losing. I mean, so are my shield buyers, but uh, that's not the point. And here we go. You can see they're charging in, and uh, I think these are some of my elite, my elite swords. Yeah, my elite swords going in. Sending them in now. It's getting, we're still getting that serious, but um, they're just the most available unit. And they're kind of like Yom's Vikings. So we'll put it back to a normal speed now. The cavalry is still causing issues, and it's actually killing my general off quite quickly. He's lost about 40 of his men. It's like, rally to me, men. Let's deal with these absolute annoying... Well, I don't know. I was going to say something a bit inappropriate, but we'll, 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 we'll keep that. I think Desmond's Irish, so you could just be like, get rid of these stinking Irish. I mean, they do actually look really nice. I mean, I believe, it. yeah, I should know really, uh, living in the UK, uh, where Desmond is. I mean, they are running down my great axes. They're actually causing a lot of damage. I would really thought they'd do a lot better against cavalry. I thought they'd treat them like uh, shocking treats cavalry in 12-12. Just chop them down. I mean, they are, to be fair, they are chopping them down. Uh, but they are actually, the Gaelic Chosen Cavalry is winning in combat, and they are actually route, uh, wavering my great axes. So maybe, maybe not. I mean, these are some pretty nasty cavalry. I mean, now my general has been caught right at the gates here. And I've got some uh, veteran sword here having to come over to try and save the day. As that's been going on, I am now surround, fully surrounding over here these Kern veterans. I mean, I just need to give the order to send these guys in. I think I'd kind of delayed it. Because uh, I didn't think it was necessary. And I thought you might have had more troops uh, ready to dodgy. Just love the green and the yellow of Desmond. It's very nice. A nice contrast to the grey and the brown of Jorvik. But we have broken this flank here. A huge break. And we're now into the arch lines here. And we are burning this uh, town to the ground. And these archers, these trained archers will be no match to us. I mean, we'll fire them on this side as well. They broke, We broke through this choke point here. And, uh, yeah, these veteran sword hearse here are going to chop down these archers. The de like, the ones in the middle desperately trying to fire. They're like, hold them off, brothers. We're going to carry on firing. Don't mind us. And they're just like, oh, quickly. Shoot every arrow you have. As they get cut down, they're getting beheaded by the second. This guy is like, oh, I can take him. I can take him. No, I'm just going to turn my back on him. Uh, but they're routing at this side, yeah. I mean, two units here routing to one sword, but veteran sword hurts here. And uh, you can hear buildings just crashing down. Look at this. Columns of Vikings coming by. And they're going to take it. I mean, we've got a unit going for the cap, major cap point as well. The main cap point. I mean, and, and the front line is now broken as well. The battle is turning in our favor. 
And the general is in combat, and he's a household horseman. He's losing decisively to elite sword hearse here. The spears over here, desperately trying to hold on. They're like, quickly, men. Fight to the last. For Desmond. And then these ones are just like, nah, I, I don't fancy my chances. But as soon as the shield wall's broken, it's usually uh, GG for uh, that shield wall. That's the great thing about, like, that's the weakness of a shield wall. Like, it's such a good defensive, uh, like, obstacle. But if it's broken, it's in trouble. And then the general is now inside his form shield wall. And he's just, that was great. I love that that stopped, like, the uh, cavalry charge. Just, all of them, like, stopped in their tracks. And now we counter charge them. And we get some kills. And the great axes are back. They're like, right. Let's kill some more horses. We've had enough pain from them horses today. And we're literally surrounding the general. There you go. He's dead. The enemy general dying. Getting cut down. And uh, the enemy general dying will probably be the end of any resistance in this uh, city here. I mean, the last bit of resistance actually is over here. A unit that is basically fully surrounded. These Kern veterans. Fight on. To the last. To the last men. For Christendom, I presume Desmond's a Christian nation. It, the Irish might be. But there you go, a close victory uh, for Jorvik. That was certainly a close victory. That that cavalry caused a lot of issues and uh, that my catapult being lost so early on did not help. But yeah, it was a really, really uh, good battle. And uh, yeah, I lost about half my army. Uh, Dodgy losing the entirety of his. Um, but equally, uh, I mean, did a lot of killing with uh, not the greatest of troops, I'd have said. Like, veteran spears are very, very... <laughs> like, spears aren't great. Like, uh, they're good at holding the line, but they won't necessarily give you lots of kills. But you seem to do quite well with them. His archers did get, like, barely any kills. That's the problem with archers. They seem to just do, like, awful. Um, but, yeah, he did his best. And, uh, well, we'll have a look at some of the end results anyway. So, uh, I mean, my... Um, it looks like my... What are these? Mailed hearse here, swords, getting 119 kills. Actually, might be another one here with, yeah, 121. Then we've got the veteran sword hearse here, here, getting 186. 241, that's very nice. Uh, my elite hearse swords only getting 55 kills, but they didn't really see much combat. I mean, these two seem to, but um, I think they might have been facing cavalry quite a lot. My great axes had a lot of issues with cavalry the entire battle. I was going to get some really good, like, flanking charges with them or something, and they're only getting uh, 38 kills, which is a shame. Uh, they didn't get to really serve their purpose. Uh, my axe herdman, 68 kills, which is okay. They're kind of a light axe unit anyway, so I'm not expecting them to get masses of kills. But they actually did better than any of my Viking heavy marauders, which do cost more, which is a real disappointment. And then my uh, shield buyer is getting 139. My archer is getting zero kills, and my catapult getting a mere one um, as he got focused down. Uh, but all four, five of those units there. Kind of just were a bit unlucky getting either run down by cavalry or just focused down by the uh, opposing artillery. Um, Dodgy's uh, general, who's a household horseman, 49 kills. Um, his spear, uh, veteran spears, 51, which is actually not too bad for spears in shield wall. I won't, I won't lie, that is pretty good. Um, and then what are this? This is going to be his Kern veterans, 151 kills. It's very good. Another one getting 105. Not too shabby. Then he's got... Uh, Oh, these are more current veterans. Um, he's got his archers only getting 17 kills, the best one. His cavalry getting 171, 100, 109, 133. All of them getting into the 100. That's really good. Uh, it's definitely a good uh, unit to bring. I mean, they ran down a lot of my uh, uh, great axes, killed a lot of my general, and got all my archers, uh, which is really, really good for them. And then uh, the catapult getting 88 kills, which is not too shabby. It's either. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed them, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show you support. And don't forget, we're trying to hit that 2K milestone for a face reveal of yours truly. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.